or pads cable, which is along with a with, with pacemaker option or with AD option. It doesn't come with separately with all the other devices. Okay. So we have to have other devices also, but you might not have this cable with that. That means there is no option of pacemaker or AD. Okay. Now usually we have a defib, we have these phase uh, paddles, these are called as paddles, defibrillator paddles. Okay. Now same paddles can be used for pediatric patients also. Now whenever, you see there is a small knob here, can you see this knob? Yes, I am just trying to slide it, press it and get a smaller paddle. This is used for infants and pediatrics. Okay. For infants and pediatrics and newborns. And for newborn and pediatrics, we use energy of 2 joules per kg. 2 4 joules per kg. Okay? So, this is now I am using it as an adult. Always while holding, it should be hold like this. Don't hold like this. It actually fumbles a lot of times. So, I am holding like this. Now, you know, whenever the machine is on, you on it from here. There is an on off button here. Now machine is on. Okay. And uh, this cable has to be connected to the socket button. So this is the lock here. You can see I am turning it makes lock or unlock. Now I am just locking it here. Got it sound? It gets locked. So now the machine is on and I have connected the panels here. Okay. Suppose I just place it on the patient's chest <coughs> or I am connecting myself. Are you getting rhythm on the monitor? No. Not at all. Okay? So why it is not coming? Are you not? You already got a rhythm man. <laughs> it's the alarm is not coming, beep sound is not coming. So silent kar diya hai. This is my rhythm. Do you want to shock me? No. No, no. That, so you saw the silence rhythm, no? What is the heart rate? 80. 80. Okay. You got a QRS a sinus rhythm. So you are getting my rhythm now. Okay. Is it clear? Now it is getting deep sound. Okay. So you can do that without electrodes. So this is the ECG cable. I can connect this to the patient. Instead of this, I am just connecting with the paddles. This part, steel part. It should be connected to the patient's chest problem. Then you get a rhythm properly. Okay? Now, do you want to do it on a conscious patient? Never. Otherwise, walk to Marina. Now, now, the steps of AD yesterday, what we saw. First was power on. Okay, so if I go to AD mode, it started giving instructions. Yes or no? So, pads cable is required, not this one. So, what I am doing here, I am disconnecting this. And I have this black cable, no? This I have to connect. Connect pad cable. The pad has the patient's bare chest. And these are the pads what we are using, no? These are pads what we can use for facing as well as AD. So I am connecting this to the machine now like this. So it is connected. Now, is it connected to the patient? No. Will it give the rhythm? No. Got no. it? So if I connect to myself, it can give me the rhythm. I don't want to show myself. <laughs> That's right. Because disturbances can occur. I'm moving, no? So I don't want to touch that. So yesterday you saw that when you connected to the simulator here. That's how it works, AED function. So it will tell you whether shock is required or not. And then you can shock after clearing the patient. That's it. Power on, attach, analyze, and shock. Until unless you click at, it is not going to go ahead with that. So, suppose there is heavy chest and you are not connected to the pads properly. It will tell you apply pads properly. It will tell you battery is dead. So, don't listen to the commands. That's it. Okay? Now, I am going off AD mode. I am putting it off again. Okay? Now, I am going ahead with the regular defibrillation. So, I am disconnecting this cable. AD is good for layman people if you are not good in rhythm recognition. But for doctors, you have to always go for manual mode because it is good in operating easily and it can save a lot of time. It is immediate, instantly you can use it. Okay? Now, if you look at this machine, 
this doesn't have sockets for these paddles. We don't have paddles for this patient. It comes with only with this type of missing bags. If the patient is having recurrent with EVM, multiple times you have to shock him. Better than this, you have to place these pads. In a major OT, where major surgeries are being done, or in cath lab, they keep these pacing pads connected always. So they can do pacemaker to this, they can defib with this, they can do synchronous cardioversion also with these pads. You don't require this all the time. Only manual defibrillation can be done with this. Got it? For pacemaker, I have to switch to this mode. These are called as pads. These are pads. Okay? Now, how I am holding this? I told you like this. And then this is the button here for charging. Or I can charge from here also. If I am using paddles, never use any button here. Just to avoid safety. Okay? Suppose patient is with shockable in I have selected 200 joules. Is it charging or not? Hmm? Connect cables. It is connecting therapy paddles. There is a problem with this. We'll look at it. Let's see. Charge. Yes or no? I'm holding like this. Shock delivered. <laughs> is it delivered shock? No. It will not deliver until the side connected. So this defib has come with safety feature here. This button is operational only with the pads. You understood this part? Yes. Sir. Other machine doesn't have that feature. That's why I thought it is not working. So when I did it with this, it is working. So this is a good feature with this machine. This is the latest machine actually. So these safety features will always be helpful. Okay? So what I'm going to do the steps here. What are the steps? So you know this is the shock paper now. Power on. I've connected the paddles with jelly properly, not never rub like this. Always put jelly and then rub on the patient chest. Okay? Apply adequate pressure. What? That's okay. <laughs> because it is not connected to patient, no? 